so hi friends so this is very warm welcome to our new video tutorial it's regarding portal bumi and which we are going to see how to use one of the component called the cross reference tables so basically uh, the cross reference table is the very useful component so uh, like during the development we have experienced this kind of things like uh, we perform some kind of the transcodifications which means that in the like suppose we are getting the one format of the data from the source and we perform some of the lookups and for some kind of data like which is coming at the abbreviation form and like suppose uh, some some stock keeping unit kind of things which we need to basically transport from one format to another format like suppose we are getting the state called the uh, mh so which is the short form and the target format is basically uh, expecting the full name of that particular state abbreviate abbreviation so we can uh, use this cross reference tables in which we can map the short form in the uh, with the full name and by using the each sort name we can do the corresponding lookup and uh, transform our request into the target format so we have used these same examples so in which uh, we are going to see how this transcodification has been done using the cross reference tables so i have already created one processes in which i am using the disconnector uh, shape in which i am using the get and send operations i have used the xml profile i have used the cross reference table and the data processor to split our the contacts uh, xml into the various contact xml so let's quickly move on to the our process where we can see so this is the first of all i wanted to show here this is the transcodification or we can say the cross reference table i have created so here in the source uh, this is the basically the abbreviate form of the short form of the states so in the request if you'll see the request will look like i show you so the request will be look like this so this is the one contact this is the another contact so in this contact the state value is coming at the short form like bh mp up the put so what basically we have done we have created one reference table in which uh, in the reference one column we have put the short name in the reference two we have put the full name corresponding the short names so we are using the only two columns here so going to our design of the rest of things so these are the our xml profiles we have used so this is nothing but our the sample xml this is the map we have used so map basically is very important like uh, we basically used to transform the uh, one profile into the another profile so here in our the source profile is our the contact xml in the target profile this is the also the contact xml so our the xml profile we are using at both source and target end. but if we see this in the function we have used one of the cross reference lookup so cross reference lookup is nothing but here we are choose the reference that will be the input to your cross reference so here uh, we have uh, uh, magnifying our the state and code cross reference table which we have created so that we are magnifying here the reference one indicate the our input so that will be nothing but our the source data which is coming and the reference two indicates our output that means the value which we have picked and we have to use while creating our the target so this reference one and reference two is nothing but our 
and looking into the again the this is the reference one name and the reference two. So using these things, reference one is the our input, reference two is the our output. So we are mapping the this state as a reference one and mapping the reference to the value of the reference to into the output. So this is going to get our the map. Now moving to our the connector. So here in the connector we are using the disk connector. So in the disk connector, so I am not using the cloud area. Atom cloud, I am using the my local on premises cloud which I have installed and which is uh, up and running into the locally on my machine. So, this is the connections. So, this is the connection which is telling like uh, what is the directory where I have to read and write the file. So, I have the one contact file over there which is going to my input. And in the same directory, I am going to write the spikes. So this is the connection. Local disk connection is showing the only the directory. If we go to the next the operations, so we have the two operations. So one operations I have used the get. So that is nothing but uh, uh, which is the by using that operation we are getting the particular contact of xml file from the directory so file matching type i have put the exact match write file is going to basically write the file into the different directories okay so create unique name if the file exists so this is the option i have selected Now, how this component or the process or the connector operations, how we have arranged in order to achieve our goal. So, let's see here. So, this is the our one connector, this connector. So, that is the action is get. I have opted this local disconnection and this is the operations. Okay. Now, this is the message basically say where I am just uh, informing what message we have received. So this is nothing but my current data and current data is nothing but our the what we have received the output of this uh, disconnector. Now we, we have used here the map shape. So the basically the purpose of map shape is to just point the map which we have seen here. So map is nothing but our state code to state uh, details. So in that map where we have done the uh, cross reference uh, cross reference lookup, so that is going to work by using this map. Save. Now after performing the map save, we are again uh, using the one message save to just get the current data. This is for the split. So this is the data process. So we have the one document in which, uh, which is named as the contacts, in which we have the multiple contacts. So now our intention and purpose is to break that particular contacts XML into the different different contact XML and write each contact into its individual files. So now here. Uh, we are uh, splitting the documents by using the split element is the contact. So the number of contact basically is going to create the our number of XML files. Now how the file names will be look like? So for that I have used the set properties. So by using that set properties as we know we, we have the various document and process properties we can customize. So I have taken the uh, connector, the disk uh, properties called the file name. In this property set, I am using the combination of the various properties, various parameters, you can say, the various parameters to make a unique file name. So to make the unique file name, I have used the profile, the first name of the 
contact XML. Now the aesthetic value of the hypha. Now the last name of the contact element and then the static value dot accept. So this is the way by which we can basically concatenate the multiple parameter against our properties. So we will see how during the our test how this is going to work. Now we have used the, again the disconnector but this time the action will be not get but the same. However, the correction is still remain same and operation is the write disk on the file. So basically that is going to uh, write the file on a disk. So let's quickly see. So before I run, we can uh, verify here how many contact XML should be created. So we can see this is the one contact, two contact, three contact and four contact. So we have the total four contact which means in our directory we must receive the four files as output. So let's run and because I am using the our my local systems so I must use my the local it which is already up and running. Let's see. Yes, so that is executed. So let's see how this is going to be. Okay. It's coming. Yes, so you can see this is the my input in which we can get the state as the sort. Okay. Now this is the input of our this Let's see what is the output we are getting for this. So after executing this map save, we can see what is the input is going for the data processing. We can see this state value which was in the sort form has successfully replaced by is the reference to value from the cross reference table that is nothing the full name so ph has been bihar this uh, mp has been the Madhya Pradesh the up has been Uttar Pradesh and the wb is the west so our cross reference table has been used by using the cross reference lookup function which we have used is the map Okay. Now here we are setting the file names. So we can see this has been split our the context XML into the four different different files. And each file we can able to see here that has the different contact informations. So one for the state Bihar. Second we can say the state will be Madhya Pradesh. Think this Andhra Pradesh. This is for the Uttar Pradesh. This is for the our story of the whisper. So we can see yes. So that the purpose of the data save. Uh, after uh, execution of this zip, we can receive, we have received the four different contacts. Now we have set the properties. So we can see here what the file name is getting, uh, getting uh, created by this uh, properties and what the file name will be. So you can see these are the directly Del Boomi POC file lookup input in which with this name the files has been already created. So this is the log we are verifying. So let's verify looking into the back. So you can see this is the file has been created. And here you see the contact. So these were the our contacts. Input is request. You can say this is the our one x one contact XML. 
and the and the so we can see we get the full contact itself. Correct. Now going to look into the log. So in the log we can see so in the receive message we receive the one document. So map is going to executing save 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 save. The split has going to split the split resulted into the four document. Yes. So next, what is this? Send to local disk. So you can say the send to executing connector save with the four document. So which means the four documents uh, has written on the disk. So our the backend, our the log and everything. So there are multiple ways by which we can verify it. Or during the testing we can see like uh, how the process is. So hope uh, you enjoy this video. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your watching this video. Thank you.